about uh, acting like an attorney, the exemption to what Rod said, I believe, would be willful negligence. Is that right, Rod? So if Lone Wolf's having an event, he can't maliciously, deliberately run over somebody in his truck and say, hey, I'm a volunteer, man. You, you need to sue a bait. So I, I think willful negligence would be the exclusion there. But other than that, as the volunteer, you've got the coverage. Murder, 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 murder is not a good thing ever. Not a good thing ever. Remember when you... When you are representing us as an agent of the organization, you do have a duty and a responsibility and our reputation is at stake. So if, uh, if you've got a role at an event where you're responsible for monitoring things that are going on to make sure there's a secure uh, environment, if that's the, the position that you're in, don't be stupid, don't get drunk, don't be pushy, don't be uh, heavy, and, you know, try to look for reasons to fight, try to minimize those problems. Don't give us that additional unnecessary exposure. It's not good for you, it's not good for us. A little common sense goes a long way there. One other thing on the, on the waivers, Rod uh, said was very important, but the, the one time he got sued, what was it about? Somebody, yeah, well, what, what happened was, again, that cop, he was a cop, but he wasn't in his jurisdiction, he wasn't in uniform, and he wasn't on a police motor. So all he was was a motorcyclist. Good guy, and he's one of our guys, and he got in a shitload of trouble with his own department when he got back home because he should know better. We can't do that stuff, man. If you guys are having a substantial event and you want to have a nice organized ride, talk to local law enforcement and say, hey, this is what I got in mind, this is what we're doing, this is who it benefits or what it's for, or it's for awareness, whatever it is, get it escorted. Because, and I'm not going to sit here and bullshit and say that, that probably there ain't one of us in this room that's never done this before. Play road guard. We've all done it. We can't do that. I'm, I'm telling you right now, we cannot give you the authority to do that. And if anybody ever comes up and asks us, like, well, do you do this? Our answer is no. It is not allowed. It is strictly prohibited. We have advised everybody not to do this. It's in the guidebook. I mean, you're hanging your ass out there on your own because it is not sanctioned, it is not authorized, it is not backed up or endorsed anywhere. So that's all on you, and I would not, I would, I would implore you not to do that. So if you're going to have an escorted ride, do it the right way. And if you do, you know, one or two a year, local law enforcement will probably work with you. If you're talking to them every week to try to do something, they may get tired and say, we can't do this all the time. But if you're going to do it, do it right. Otherwise, if it's a small event, have the route planned where people know where it starts and where it ends or whatever. But this is a huge deal for us, and I'm telling you, we're all going to get in big trouble. I mean, there, there are civil charges here as well as potential criminal charges. And you, as well as the organization, you as an individual could get named there. So let's not do anything that subjects you or us to that. Am I clear? Great fun. We've all been on those rides, but let's do it the right way so that we don't get ourselves in trouble because it becomes no fun in a hurry when that happens. You know, Rod used to say that we complete poverty. Come get us. We got nothing. You can have the gas can and the file cabinet because that's all we got. Um, we've become a target now, so we need to make sure we protect ourselves. Not really in a position to answer any questions on this, but if you want to, we can bring some of this stuff back up in the breakout for the uh, reps and directors when we start talking about events and stuff. So please keep those thoughts. We're going to try to get back on schedule. Uh, Rod talked too long. I told you what he'd do. He'd pat you on the back, say what a great job we do, and he did, and we appreciate that. But I want to make sure you understand the stuff he does and why we need to support him. So hopefully you're all clear on that, and that is in the guidebook as well. We were scheduled for a break. Notice the operative word is were scheduled. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the schedule. If you absolutely cannot cross your legs any longer and must go out down the hall, do what you have to as we're going. Uh, also remember that the silent auction will close at 3.30, but we're going to go ahead and get right into the, uh, the next session uh, and continue along with this. So if you need to leave the room, hurry up and get right back in. This is not a break. Uh, Mike Meyer is going to come up and talk to us about Link.